first cup, my first sip. It's early. It's only five in the morning. <clears throat> it's 63 degrees in here. It's probably about 53 outside. It's 53 humidity. How are you? How are you doing? I didn't get you a video out yesterday. Um, it's just, um, I think I'm just taking a mental break from doing um, the videos, getting ideas, and um, just have a little bit um, more social life here. But I did want to tell you that um, a subscriber and um, a viewer of my YouTube channels is in the area, and we were going to meet at Lake Tahoe um, a week ago, but it didn't happen, so um, I told her where I was here, and she came up, and uh, we met. What a delightful lady. Oh my gosh, yes. She brought her little um, her little dog, a Pomerant, I believe it is. I'm not an expert on dogs, but I do like dogs, but I'm not an expert on them. Mm. Oh, this tastes so good, and it's so warm. It's chilly. I got my turtleneck on. So it's chilly this morning. And I'm enjoying it, you know. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Updates. What's going on? Basically, um, I'm just relaxing. And um, I, I've got a routine down since I've been here. I basically am doing the same things that, um, like I said um, in my last video, I just do things that people would do if they're living in a house. And, um, and, you know, I get up in the morning and I have my coffee and um, kind of get out, walk around a little bit and, um, you know, shake out, you know, like like you would, you know, you straighten up your house and I shake things out and um, go for my walk. I get my walking done. Then I put out my blanket out at the park and get my solar out and uh, do my exercises and I've been kind of pushing it a little bit. I have not been going to Planet Fitness at all. Um, even though I still can um, until the 22nd. I just haven't been doing it. Because I'm getting just as good at exercise. In fact, maybe even more. Because I'm um, powering up my solar. And I'm out there anyway. So I might as well exercise. I take my uh, those two pink five pound weights. I take those out. And then um, yesterday I took out the body gym, that one, um, Marie Osmond body gym. And i just been going for it. Um, and they've been doing some dance moves and out there. Um, eventually people just get used to seeing me doing things like that. And I really don't care if anybody's watching me. Um, this is just my world. And I've gotten used to just doing it out because I can't do them in here. <laughs> It's too small, so I do it out there, and I've just gotten over um, any kind of, like, shyness or whatever doing them, so I just do my exercises and uh, do my, do, doing my moves out there. So, um, Donna did come, and we met, and we talked for a while, and... Um, some of the other people in the park, we all uh, gathered around and talked. We had like a little communal. She brought a watermelon, and other people had like a vegetable plate, raw vegetables with dip, and yeah, and, and uh, pizza. And we all just sort of ate at the picnic table under this gazebo, and it was a great time. Um, I put on my tunes with my speaker, and yeah, we were, um, it was a good time. She didn't spend the night here. She had to go meet somebody, so I don't know if we'll see her again today. One thing I have noticed, um, she's more of a nomad like me. I mean, we're nomads. Um, we're not like, uh, well, you know, I've said it before, and I hate, I don't want to, you know, like, uh, label people. I don't like that, but um, a lot of the people here are homeless, and they're homeless in their vehicles. It's wonderful people. People who have worked had many good jobs, um, but they find themselves um, down and out right now. But 
not in their mind. They might be, their pockets might be empty, but not in their mind. And they've got it all figured out. And, uh, but Donna is more like, she's a nomad. I mean, she travels. And one thing I have, um, come to realize with nomads is, um, we have our own agendas going on. And sometimes to, to get those agendas between nomads together, that's not easy. It's not easy at all. Unless you're in a caravan and you're moving with these with the caravan and you've um, set aside like a 14 days. I'm going to travel with the caravan caravan for these 14 days or whatever. I mean, you can follow them for 10 days if you want to, but they usually do um, 14 day um, sections or did before the COVID. Um, you know, yeah, you could kind of count on that, but in the real world, you get a couple nomads together and one's going to go this way and one's going to go this way. Um, you, you might meet here, but there's this like, okay, well, I'm going to go do this. Well, I want to go do this because the nomad mind and I'm finding, um, I could be wrong. I'm all still c a pondering all of this is that what I found is that the nomad mind whether it was that way before or it becomes that way after you become a nomad, is that you're going to do your own thing. Um, I don't want to go do that thing. Sorry. So I'm going to go do this thing. And the other person's going, well, I want to go do this thing. So to get the meeting of the minds of nomads, whoa, <laughs> that's a great feat. <laughs> yes. Um, and I know that Donna, she said, well, I want to, she goes, well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. A lot of times nomads wake up and they have no clue what they're going to do that day. They're going to do this or they're going to do that. And even if they did say they're going to do one thing, it may change. Uh, I mean, that's the way with a lot of people and just living in, in a house. But I've definitely noticed that uh, in nomads, sometimes I want to like, oh, let's hang out together, whatever. But that um, in the past and it just didn't come to fruition. But now, <laughs> I notice myself doing it. No, like, no, uh, I'm going to go do that. I. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Lee? Well, what should we... I don't know. Um, if I commit myself to do that, then, then I've got to go do that. I've committed myself. And I might want to change my mind, so... <laughs> and, I, and I see it happening with, with a lot of nomads. They just um, want to go their own way. They're... Be, they have become fiercely independent, and they don't want to uh, follow anybody. They don't want to uh, follow anybody else's directions. They want to do it their way and go when they want to, where they want to, when, where. So It's all very interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean... You know, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot right here. It might be one of the reasons why I, I haven't, I didn't do a video yesterday and um, it's been almost every other day again is because I need to ponder and take a, a break on on a, what's going on. And I don't want to just throw anything up for you. Uh, yeah, but so I, and I realize sometimes just chit-chatting with you, um, you guys really enjoy that. And, uh, and I enjoy also chit-chatting with you. And each one of you uh, personally, like, I'm talking to you personally um, because I see you personally. I see that you're just one person and I'm talking to you. Just as when Donna came, I mean, I'm talking to her. And, um, yeah, I mean, she said, oh, you're, you're just like you are <laughs> on your videos. And I am. Uh, this, is, this is who I am. What you see is what you get. So today... Um, I just want to announce that um, next week I do start work. Um, I'm going to be leaving the Reno area, and I'm, I'm gonna, it's undisclosed, but I am going to go and work probably for a month. But I'll still get videos up for you. It's not, it's not going to be that intensive work, but I'm going to um, just get videos out. And so I've got another week um, in the Reno area, and I'm going to enjoy it. I'll get as many videos as I can of it. Um. Donna does want to go to Lake Tahoe. I've never been there. And she wants to go. And um, she was mentioning that we should both go. Um, I may or may not. I may or may not go. I mean, it sounds gorgeous. But 
there's this, I don't feel this. I kind of go with like what's in here and I don't feel like, oh, you must go see Lake Tahoe. And it's like, okay, well, I mean, there's plenty of time to go see Lake Tahoe. Right now just might not be the best time to go see it. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> you know how, you know how us nomads are. <laughs> I guess we can be kind of stubborn, too. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel that I am stubborn. I don't know why I said that. I don't feel stubborn. Um, I think I just... Uh, I follow in my heart. And this is the kind of lifestyle where you truly can follow your heart. You can follow a God and what where He leads you. So that's I kind of let Him lead me with what's going on. And I know He led me here because these are some great people here. I mean, there are people here that I would remember for the rest of my life. They're so, um, they're so sweet and they're so genuine. Yeah. They've captured my heart. I think that's why I like spending a lot of time with them. I mean, I can be on my blanket out there exercising and, uh, they just bring the chair over or they sit, just sit right on the grass. I invite them. I say, hey, you can sit on my blanket if you want to. But then, um, and, and then we just start a conversation. And that conversation just, you know, it's like people together. It's like a, that conversation can lead anywhere. And all of a sudden we find ourselves discussing this. And, and, there's pe and then another one comes over and we all sit. And, <laughs> and then there's lots of laughter. So it, it is a lot of fun. It's, it's fun socializing. I will miss it when I leave here next week. But, um, so what else is going on? Um, I feel like for some reason, it's really strange too because I don't know where this came from. I feel like I've... Um, totally set my organization in my minivan. I mean, I thought I already did, but it just seems to be um, more organized. I was like, wow, how did that happen? Well, I'm thinking right now, for one reason, it might be, I'm not running to the store as much. I'm not like piling in food. I don't feel like I'm hoarding food anymore. You know, like it was during COVID. Oh, I got to buy five, six, seven cans of chicken instead of just two. And I don't feel like I'm being um, stuffed in here. I'm not stuffed in here anymore. I, I've got enough food. I mean, if anything happened, the shit hit the fan. I mean, I got enough food for a while. But I don't feel like I'm really, like, um, running to the grocery store all the time. Well, you see what I buy. I don't buy that much when I, when I go. And, um... So that might be one factor. I mean, I'm so, and sometimes I try to figure myself out, like, why am I doing this, or why is it this way? So, I guess you guys are um, viewing my uh, mental process. I hope it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I I feel more organized. I feel like I'm not stuffed in here so hard. And I know that I must not be buying as much because when I move these bins out, the ones that are right here by my sliding door, they're not as heavy. So, although maybe I'm stronger <laughs> and working out more. But the bottom one definitely just doesn't feel as heavy. When I move, it's like, you know, I just pick it up and move it. And so I know that it's lighter. It's a lighter bin. And I'm not um, running and hoarding things like I was before, you know, because things were running off the shelf. So, yeah, I'm not, yeah. It just feels organized in here. I feel like this is really, um, this is nice. I'm, I'm, um, I guess the word that comes to my mind often is I'm very content right now. I'm very content. I'm content to be away from Tucson. Yeah. Away from the heat. And just, the, I was there for how long? I was doing the same thing for how long? I was doing the same thing over and over for three full months. I'm kind of happy not to do that anymore. Um, the same places. And if you live in a house, you're going to do the same things over and over. I think, yeah. I'm so far removed from that. I don't know if I could go back to that. You know, your, your home is like in one spot. There you are. If you're going to, a lot of times if you go for a walk, you're going to walk in your neighborhood or you're going to go to your local park. I mean, on weekends, yeah, you might go somewhere, but 
Yeah, it's the same thing. And I'm kind of glad to be away from Tucson. Um, I'm doing the same thing over and over and over. And it's so funny, too. I pondered this. It's like, I mean, I didn't tell anybody at the park I was leaving, but they saw me every day there. And the workers saw me every day, I'm sure. And then that, that one who had, um, his name was Bill, he had a, that Bible tent up at Overhang, and he had the, the um, on weekends, he had that up. And then on Sunday, he had church in the morning going there, and then he'd take it down in the afternoon. So I left. It was during the week, so I didn't have a chance to say goodbye to him. But I'm sure at some point they go, oh, where's that lady that was always exercising? <laughs> yeah. Well, she's like gone. She went north. <laughs> yeah. What I'm finding at the butane stoves, everybody has the butane stoves. Um, even though some in Reno it seems to be hard to find the butane. But I carry um, extra with me. Um, in fact, one of the gals, uh, she just bought a butane stove. Because everybody has them now. It's like, oh, I want one of those. But she didn't, she couldn't find butane, so I gave her one of my bottles. And I still have seven in here to go. I like to keep at least seven or eight. They're not heavy. And I like to keep them because you never know you might not find them. Um, but I did show you way deep down that I have um, a stove that I can, um, it uses propane or butane. So I can always pull everything out and get that out. So. Um, yeah, but everybody's using these butane stoves. At this particular part, there's no, um, grills. I asked them why, and they said, well, they took them out or something, uh, like a year ago. I was like, okay. But there are no grills, so everybody gets out their, um, butane stoves, and they take them outside. Me, I use mine inside. Because otherwise, what would I have to do? I'd have to take everything out. I'd have to... I suppose I couldn't, and just taking the bag, but, you know, this is like my kitchen area, too, so I just do it here, and then if I want to eat, I'll take it outside. Yeah, it just seems like a lot of work, <laughs> taking everything out, and then you got to put everything back, and put everything back, uh, maybe I'm lazy, <laughs> I don't know. It does sound like fun cooking outside, and I've done it before, but it's just such a, it's such a big to-do, you know, getting everything, and then if you forget something... You don't want to leave everything setting out because you not here wouldn't be a problem because so many nice people that I know, but usually at a park I don't know, you know, and I I hate to be running to my car to get things and then leaving everything setting out. Yeah, might be my speakers are out there. Or, yeah, I mean expensive things. So yeah, I usually just cook in here, but a lot of them they take their uh, they got these butane stoves. It's so cute. Um, we were joking last night before we went to bed. Um, we were like, yeah, somebody had some, uh, a big box of pancake. It was complete pancakes. So you just had water and we we're like, oh, we should all get out here in the morning and make pancakes. And we would bring all, oh, everybody bring their butane stuff. They're like, yeah, I'll go to get some eggs. And <laughs> that's how cute everybody is. Yeah. I mean, they're just people and here, you know, they, they, they've got all sides to them, but um, for the most part, I see such good in them. I really do. Cheers to people who don't have a lot of money. Yeah, they lost their jobs or or whatever. But I think a lot of them lost their jobs before this COVID thing happened. Yeah. Because some of them have been coming to this park for a few years. <laughs> Well, okay, so today I'm going to go to, I think, another park in the morning. Let's see what time is it. It's only a little bit after 5. So I keep talking. Yay. I keep talking to you. Um, let's see, what else? I'm going to go to another park because there's not a lot of walking at this park. And um, I just have to walk back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. I'm going to go to another park. And I'm going to get my walking in, and then I'll come back. And put out my uh, blanket. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Uh, you know, I'm going to exercise that. I think this is really important. It makes me feel so good. I mean, get the endorphins going. And then people can come over and talk. But we've, I already mentioned that. Um, I do want to get together. I want to organize um, a different video that I've been um, putting together. 
And um, I need to get a list going. Last few days I haven't been making lists. And that's probably why my mind is just sort of like been like this. I'm just wandering up in this direction. I need to, right now I want to um, become more focused again. I got to get focused. It, this was fun, but I want to get focused again and get um, get some goals um, started. And one thing is the book. Oh, yeah. I, I, I've got so many ideas, but I haven't, like, taken that first. I haven't taken the plunge into the pool yet. And so I just need to take that plunge. And, and yeah. So, um, and, and so I want to start getting, um, I'm going to, in fact, get my list going. Again. I'm going to check this after I do this. I'm going to check it and um, get uh, for Saturday put Saturday up there and write down all the things that I want to do. And then I will accomplish them. I guess I've just taken a break. I guess that's all I can say. I've just been taking kind of a break. Yeah. I've been doing almost one video a day since, um, I guess like the, the second week of February. See, February, March, April, May. Yeah, there's like four months I've been doing a video almost every day. So, uh, 30 times four, that's like 120 videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers to videos, yeah. So, and there was only, only a few days that I didn't. So, probably there are 110 videos in my, in my, um, my channel, so... Back to videos and back to like getting down to business. Yeah, but I am going to be working on next week. I'm going to start probably work about a month and then I'm, and, um, yeah, so, and then um, I've got to like move on out of uh, Reno and I take a little trip and uh, that'll be fun. I'll let you know, you know, or I'll take some pictures and let you know. Or I might be just a little bit more discreet, and I'll just do videos in here for you and, and keep you posted and, and um, move along on in more instructional things. So, yeah. It got really cold. I said, oh, my gosh. We were sitting out there, and poor Donna, she was, like, she was freezing out there. I had, I was sleeveless. I had my um, arm gaiters on, right? But from here, it was all sleeveless. Um, I was loving it. <laughs> it was like, I want it to be cold. I want to be cold because I know, you know, that, uh, that, that even in this whole area of the country in the Northwest, it's, it, it might be still a little chilly right now, but the heat's coming. Oh, it's coming. And so I'm just enjoying it while I can. Yeah. I, I live back there in Tucson, dude, I was starting to feel sick with the heat. So, yeah, a lot has happened this year to me. My goodness. Went to the RTR in January. And um, first time boondocking in, um, well, first time boondocking, really. And then I got appendicitis. <laughs> I ended up in the hospital. Um, yeah, so much for boondocking. No, that I did get dehydrated. That was my own fault. And um, and but it was I I believe that God interceded because I you know this COVID thing was coming and they wanted to and I think if you want to find out about what happened it's um, and you're new to the channel way down at the bottom in the very beginning um, my oldest videos I talk about uh, what happened and uh, yeah I got um, I got appendicitis. And uh, they had to take my appendix out in Lake Havasu. And I was parked previously that day in Quartzsite. There are no hospitals. <laughs> no. And no hospitals in Parker either. So, uh, yeah. It was just, it was God-driven. And what else happened after that? It was COVID came. So it's a good thing I got my appendix out when I did. That was all God-centered. Um, he made that all happen. And here to find out my appendix were, um, were very, mm, they were almost gangrene because, uh, 
what is I was having digestive problems for the past seven, five years. I mean, five to seven years. Digestive problems, pain in my stomach. And they said that probably my appendix had been um, getting infected, but then they would heal. Getting infected, then heal. Getting back, throwing poison into my body, all, all you know, every three, four months, pain and um, indigestion and acid reflux, things like that. Well, um, yeah, I got them out uh, in uh, at the very, I think it's the 29th of January, and um, I was so grateful. I was so grateful, and uh, but look what happened. I wouldn't, you know. I wouldn't have been able to, they close hospitals down except for COVID, the virus thing, you know. So, uh, yeah, it, God knew what he was doing. He he just, he got me, bam, you know. And uh, so, yeah, that, so that happened. Okay. Then, um, just traveling and going to Las Vegas. And I guess this is a year of uh, Nevada, you know, getting to know Nevada. Yeah, going city and, and then, well, then I had to go back down to Tucson so this has been a, an interesting year. I'm anxious for the fall and winter to come. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be great. Oh, and I can't wait to go back down to Arizona this winter and go uh, boondocking again. I love quartzite. Yeah. Because even if, even if I am out boondocking, and um, I can't maybe get good self-service. I can always just, I mean, it's like five minutes away and bam, I'm in Quartzite. It's a nice, it's a nice little town. They take care of um, nomads. Well, well I'm awful chit-chatty going from here, there, the next thing. Talking about everything. <laughs> I hope your day is going to be great. I hope it is going great. Um, I love you guys and I, I really appreciate you. All of you, you guys are really great. Um, I hope Craig's okay. He said that um, the last time I heard from Craig is that um, he said, oh, "Please pray for me, Lee." And and then I had he hasn't made a comment since. So um, let's all say a prayer for uh, Craig. I don't know if he's okay. He didn't mention anything. So Lord Jesus, please protect Craig and help him to get well. If that if that is his problem, and uh, I hope that uh, he comes back and comments and. And that he's better than ever, uh, 100% right as rain. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you. Amen. Amen. So uh, we'll wait to see if Craig is uh, um, okay. But I do want you all to, um, if anybody does have anything that they need to uh, have prayer over, I'll just put it in the comments and, and um, we'll all say prayer. And I'll do it the next day and I'll, um, and that way we all can pray. So, yeah, I mean, that sounds like a good plan. I didn't even really think of that. So anything you need, think you need prayer for, yes, put it in the comments. With that, I'm going to say goodbye, and I love you guys very much, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Mwah.